Well, hello, YouTubers. I just had my biggest gold drop ever. I haven't weighed it up yet, but there should be 18 plus grams there, if I've done my calculations right. I'll weigh it up later and see what it really weighs. But that's a lot of gold. Beautiful, beautiful looking gold. Just the right color, very clean, wonderful. And I'm trying something new. You know, normally I will uh, dissolve and reprecipitate the gold three times, and I'll precipitate it each time with uh, sodium metabisulfite. Well, the last time I took gold to the jewelry store, they were telling me it was only like 22, 23 carat. It wasn't, it wasn't full 24 carat. So, and, and I didn't like the look of some of the gold. It looked like it had something else in it. Um, probably some, you know, platinum group metals or something was following the gold through all the precipitations. So this time I dissolved and reprecipitated the gold twice with uh, with sodium metabisulfite from Stump Out, like I always do. And for the third time, I used iron sulfate or copperus, as it's generally called in the uh, refining community. And, and the reason I'm doing the third uh, precipitation with copperus is because I have read, and it must be it's on the internet, so it must be true, right? That um, that the sodium metabisulfite can precipitate out uh, platinum group metals as well as the gold, but that the copperus will not. So that's why I did the uh, the third precipitation using the copperus. And we'll see how well it works. So I'd never used it before. I had to do a little research about how much to use and how to mix it up. And uh, it worked great. It, it worked absolutely beautifully. And this is some really, really good looking gold that I've got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh it up and I'll melt it down. And make a button or a small ingot out of it and we'll see what the uh, jewelry store says when I take it in this time. Maybe their meter will go all the way up to 24 carat. We'll see. Anyway, I need to get this weighed up. Yep, right around 18.3 grams. Just what I was thinking. I was hoping for closer to 18 and a half, but 18.3, I'll take it. That's not too bad and that is some really good looking gold. Getting late in the day, I'll probably set up and melt it tomorrow. Melting at 18.3 grams of gold. There we go, it's starting to melt. It'll come together.
There we go, nice shiny bead of gold. Too bad. That a little water to quench it in. Ooh, that could have broke the beaker. That's a big piece of gold there. Eighteen point three grams, twenty-four karat gold. At least I hope it's twenty-four karat. It sure looks a lot better than uh, the last ones I cast. It had a little bit of a like a funny film on it that I think was some uh, other metals coming to the surface during the uh, crystallization process. But this has nothing. It's just as shiny as can be. I think I'll boil it in a little bit of uh, sulfuric acid solution just to get off any uh, residue from the uh, borax flux. And then uh, we'll see what they say about it at the jewelry store when I sell it. Hopefully their meter will go all the way to 24 karat this time. It sure looks a lot better than the ones I took them last time. Nice. There we are, giving it a quick boil in a dilute sulfuric acid solution. It hasn't come to a boil yet, obviously, just warming up. And that should remove any residual uh, borax stuck to it. Then it should be a nice clean piece of gold. Well, there it is on the scale. It's a tiny bit lighter than the uh, powder I started out with. The powder may have been still slightly damp, so it may have been a little bit heavier than I thought it was with the, the water weight. But still, it's over 18 grams. And it, it looks just absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know how well it's showing up on the video. So now it's off to the jewelry store and they can tell me what its purity is and what they're willing to pay me for it. <laughs>